Okay, I'm going to go through a little simple mod here. Uh, what we have here is a, a SCART to component converter, uh, some called, sometimes called YUV. Uh, YUV is more of a PAL region thing. But anyway, what this box has is a SCART input and component video output, and it's powered and it has a power LED. But what it doesn't have is audio output. Um, most consoles have some kind of SCART adapter cable. Uh, Nintendo has one. It has a multi-out connector on one end and a SCART connector like this on the other. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to add a hole to the back to put this headphone connector to. And then we'll use a cord like this with a headphone connector on one side and stereo output on the other. And what I've done is um, the, the power LED light was right here and I enlarged the hole so that I'll be able to mount the headphone connector in that hole and as you can see I, I kinda goofed it up the the bit caught and come up and scrape the P off the word power but I'm gonna relocate the LED to right above that word and then I'll just add some wire to that LED and there was actually a little uh, a little mounting grommet that went into the hole for the LED Okay, so I'm soldered on, right, left, and ground. And let's take care of the LED first. Okay, now I got some leads on the LED. Might actually be able to feed this through. Looks pretty good. Now I just need to drill the hole for the LED above there and man, it will do. Okay, the hole is drilled. Uh, let's put the grommet back in there. All it does is hold the LED in place. Shove the LED through the back side. And that's it. Good as new. I'm probably gonna take a Sharpie. Black out all the little scratches that I put on it. Just to make it look a little bit better. All that power, that thing just got messed up. I just black out the whole word. <laughs> That's even better than what it did. Screw it down, test it. Okay, so we have the RGB modded NES top loader. On the back, I've added a multi out connector, and this is the SCART converter cable. Uh, the input to the converter box, and then on the back, we have, of course, that power LED shining there. Power input, component video output, and this is our stereo audio output. Uh, these would normally be uh, red, green, and blue. Um, any RCA cable will actually work, though. These are just the best ones that I had. And then they go up to the back of my little LCD TV. This is the component input and the stereo input. Okay, so I turn it on. And... This is basically what it's going to look like through the converter with component. If you notice any jail bars, yeah, those come through pretty well. That may not actually happen in every TV. Uh, this TV specifically seems to have those jail bars with almost every kind of signal I feed to it. And you can hear the audio, so the audio is coming through just fine.
Thank you.